this video I am going to be showing you how to use your old router as a Wi-Fi range extender, wireless access point or a wireless network card for your non-Wi-Fi CPUs. So let's get started. For this you will be requiring your old router, a suitable uh, power adapter, an uh, ethernet cable and uh, something to poke with. So we have to first power our router. So once we have powered up our router we have to reset it. But to reset it we have to wait until our router completely boots up. Yep guys so my router has started up and we have to click on the reset button that is over here. Sort of like this. We have to keep pressing this for 25 to 40 seconds. That is uh, my recommendation. Uh, you can press it for how much ever time you want it to be. So, press it and we have to wait and our uh, router again reboots. So, at this stage, I actually want you to open the uh, LAN cable take one end of it connect it to your laptop's ethernet port and the other end goes back into your router so the LAN 2 light is on and uh, I actually want you to open your browser. So I have opened my browser on my laptop and I am using Chrome. And the first thing is you have to turn off your Wi-Fi. I mean click this uh, Wi-Fi button right over here until it turns grey. So here we have in the address bar we have to type 192.168.1.1. And in the username we have to type admin and password as password. Now the IP address, username and password differs from router to router. So I recommend you to actually refer through the guide that came with your router. So we have to click on login and setup and WLAN. And under basic, we have to change the SSID to whatever you want. I am going to just change it to Google uh, Router. See. And apply changes. This will take 20 seconds on my router. So depending on your router, we have to wait. So the SSID has successfully changed. Now under security, pre-shared key. We have to change it to our desired key. I am just going to type I have changed it and we have to click on apply changes. This will again take 20 seconds so we have to wait. Once we have successfully changed the SSI and password, we can move on to our next step. So that is we have to go under LAN and the IP address. So this is the default IP address of your router. I want you to change it to something like 34 and apply changes. This step is done to avoid an IP conflict between devices. So we have to click on this prompt IP. You will get this privacy warning but we don't need to bother about it and we have to just click proceed to the desired IP and the username is again the same admin and password and we have to log in and now under setup LAN DHCP so now we have to change the DHCP mode to none. In mine it was set to DHCP server so you have to just disable it or click on none and apply changes. So this has been applied and now 
we have to again go under the WLAN menu, click on repeater and repeater enabled and site survey and you will get this little message over here. We have to just click on OK and small countdown starts and now we have the list of all the scanned Wi-Fi networks so my desired network is this so I'm gonna click on the radio button over here you can see the SSID has appeared and click on the next button next will ask the wireless security settings so it's the encryption of your main router in my case it is this is confidential it can't be revealed we have to type in our pre-shared key which is again confidential and click on apply and now we will get one more prompt over here telling to change the IP address so we have already changed it so we have to just click on finish so here we will get disconnected status so at this point I actually want you to restart your router so at this point my router has restarted you can see here now on my computer I'm going to be just showing you that this works so as you can see my internet has been connected via the ethernet port my wifi is also off do over here if we maybe type speed test working so now actually you can use these ports in the back to connect this router to a non Wi-Fi CPU and get internet so that's it guys stay tuned thanks for watching